Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على شف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We have been talking about uh, many values so far and there is one which is very close to the fact that we are fasting generosity We know that it's one of the names of God well Karim and he is full of generosity towards us he is Uh, uh, believers, the one who uh, the one who are trying to come close to him, and we know that uh, with our faith, one of the signs that we need to express in the way we are with God is with generosity towards our uh, brothers and sisters in humanity and with the creation in itself. So, when it comes to generosity, we come back to the Quran and we understand that uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is telling us. They give from what we gave them. So they provide the people with uh, everything that they, they, they had. And this is a point which is important here. That uh, very often when we speak about this, we speak about money, that we give to the people money and to the poor money. But it's much more than that. It's not only to give uh, uh, from what you have, it's to give from what you are. So this is where we come with this understanding. Of course, in the Quran, it is, and the Prophet ﷺ said it once: "Ya bani Adam, anfiq yunfiq alayk." Oh, oh uh, 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 son of Adam, give, and you will be provided with. You will get something out of it. And we know this: that when we give, it's coming back to us at the end of the day, with our and, and, and through our spiritual journey, what we give will come back to uh, to, to to us. Through all the hasanat and this closeness to, 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 to God, which is very important. But we also have to understand here that Allah, God, gave us a heart, a mind, a presence. And this is also what we have to give to the people, to be generous with our heart. means, for example, to listen to the people, to give them the affection and the tenderness that they need with our kids, with our uh, brothers and sisters. The month of Ramadan is a month where you are mastering your desires, but you have to give your qualities. This is what you, uh, you, you, you need to do. You have to be generous with your qualities as human beings, with your... For example, the people need, some people need to speak, to, to be heard, so to give your ear, to be able to listen to what the people have to say, to, to be generous with your time, to be generous with solidarity when it comes to help the people in their daily life. This is what they need, this is what they want as human beings. And during the months of Ramadan, it's so important to be generous. It's so important to give more and more, it's especially during the, Ram the, the months of Ramadan and especially the long, the, during the last 10 days of Ramadan. This is where we have to express this generosity. We are asking him to be generous with us. We need to be generous with our brothers and sisters in humanity. It's a signal, it's a sign of our faith. This is the visible face of our faith in our daily life, generosity with our brothers and sisters. And remember, to remain positive and to take good care of yourself, be generous with your own self and to tell the people you love that you love them, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.